Hi, my name is Alexandria Massey, and lately I've had some requests on TikTok to do a tutorial on how I crochet. I crochet a little bit differently, so I'll put up a little video here, and I'm going very fast, but later on in the video, I'll go into depth about how I actually do it and do a slow motion. If you want to just skip to that part, I'll put a timestamp here. So I just want to preface the video by saying there is no right or wrong way to crochet. There is no rule book. You can crochet however you want. Whatever is the most comfortable is the right way, in my opinion. If you're comfortable doing it a certain way, just continue doing it that way. I just wanted to make a video on this because a lot of people ask for me to do a tutorial about how I crochet. I started knitting when I was about 6, 7 around then and then I didn't start crocheting until I was about like 13, 14. So when I started crocheting, I just picked it up the way that felt the best for me and I held my crochet like a knitting needle and that's how I've crocheted for my entire life and I'll continue to do that. One of the pros is that I don't get wrist pain. I avoid a lot of wrist pain because I'm not moving my wrist as much. I'm kind of moving both of my hands at the same time and I'm moving my project as well. I'm not relying on one wrist to do like all of the work of pulling the yarn in and out. This is not a guarantee that your wrist won't be sore. If you're doing a new movement for the first time, for example, you do 100 squats and you've never done 100 squats before, you're gonna be sore the next day because you haven't done that movement before. But if you practice it over and over again over time, then you'll get better at it and you'll be less sore because you're building up the muscles. Now, the two most common ways to hold your hook are the pencil grip and the knife hold. The pencil grip is you hold it like a pencil and then the knife hold is you hold it like a knife. I'm putting up videos here of my friends doing that and I'd like to thank my friends for sending in videos. I'll credit them, of course. Here are examples of the pencil grip. And then here are some examples of the knife hold. So I don't quite hold mine either way. I kind of hold it up like this. Holding it up, a lot of these you hold like this and you do this movement. For me, I'm doing like this and I'm passing it back and forth from each hand. And I will go more into depth and show you a point of view of how I do that. I rely on this hand a lot. I pull my project off of the hook as I'm pulling with this hand. So I'm kind of, it's like knitting. <laughs> Basically, I, I stole knitting and I turn it into crochet. So I'm using both hands to kind of do that same movement. I also use this finger to push my hook and that really helps me. I'll show you in a second. It'll make more sense and all I gotta say is just practice. If you want to learn this, you just gotta practice and do what feels right. I didn't start crocheting consistently until about two years ago, so that's my speed is two years of practice, so don't be too hard on yourself if you're going quite slow at first. Oh yeah, if you have an idea on what this should be called, I've just been calling it the Massey Method, and I don't know if that's like egotistical of me to name it after myself, but if you have like other names for things, just let me know. I've seen similar holds, like the one-handed hold, but I don't call it the one-handed hold because I'm not holding it in one hand, I'm passing it back and forth. So if anyone has name suggestions, just let me know. Anyways, I'll get started with the actual tutorial. Thank you. So here I am crocheting. As you can see, I'm trying to go slow, but obviously I'll go slower and kind of show you a little more. I'm holding the hook in my right hand and watch my left index finger. See how I push the crochet hook? I'm pushing the crochet hook in the cro project a little bit, so it helps me kind of pass it from my right hand to my left hand. I'm pushing that crochet hook to my left hand. And I don't really hold it in my left hand, it just kind of stays there suspended until I'm able to grab it again. And I control the tension with my right finger, and that's just kind of what's always worked for me. It is pretty much knitting, is the way I hold my hook but this is me going a little bit slower. And this is me going my normal speed. This is my normal speed, and now that I'm watching it on my laptop, I'm like, wow, no wonder people are like, hey, slow down there. But that's my normal speed, and that's from two years of consistent practice. So I hope this helps a little bit, and I'm gonna put a slow motion version right now. Here is normal speed again, and I am ever so lightly holding that crochet hook. I am just 
barely holding it. I'm holding enough to like be able to pull it, obviously, but I'm not gripping it, I'm not squeezing it, I'm just barely holding it, and I think that also helps with preventing wrist pain, is I'm not like squeezing my crochet hook or like pulling it very hard, I'm very gently kind of guiding the yarn, and I'm also using my left hand to help guide the yarn off of the hook. And I think that just like really works great for me because it also frees my hand up and makes it gentler so it's easier to pass. And so keep that in mind, you know, you don't need to like tense up and squeeze a lot. You can be very loose and kind of find what works for you. Just practice a lot is my biggest suggestion. Hi, thanks for making it this far. If this video helped, let me know. If you have any future suggestions on how I can make tutorials, how it can be improved, let me know. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.